Hello, Just Too Good here, and it's been a while since I did another building the Lego room, building a Lego room. Gotta get the acronyms right. And this is before the Canada trip that I'm filming this, so yeah, this is in the past, but wanted to give an update. This is what I call bag end, basically. All these bags <laughs> of sets. And what happened was we unboxed most, if not all, the boxes that were in the closet that was going to put back on the shelves. So this is kind of like the next step is to unbag all these and rebuild what's broken. Even though thankfully most of them were transported safely, most of them will be very easy. And none of these are organized or anything like that. I mean, they're very loose. Or, like for this section right here, I think is kind of Marvel stuff, but I already see some Lego movie stuff. And I'm going to figure out which ones really deserve the shelves. But I think everything here are things I vetted to have a shelf, but we'll see once we unbox it uh, or unbag it to see which ones really fit on the shelves. Uh, little updates though, this isn't going to be rebuilt anytime soon it looks like, uh, but I'm going to try to do it. We'll see though. Um, that's of course Stranger Things, rest in peace, little one. Uh, this one up here, Winter Village stuff, I'm going to try to make a Winter Village display downstairs, so that shouldn't be there for a little more. Uh, I'm really satisfied with this little hidden side part, but I'm going to reorganize this and maybe fit more of the sets there. Still got to build Haunted High School, but Haunted High School I'm, I'm actually saving at this point for October because I love spooky stuff and October spooky month, so of course I got to do it there. Stay tuned for that. Uh, um, another thing is we got this shelf pretty locked. Just got to do a little few more touches, um, add some of the pieces that were missing that I had to remove because they could easily break during transport. So got to put those back up. Got to rebuild a little bit of Ninjago City, just place some of these and then put some of those pieces back there that got a little bit messed up in um, the move, but no big deal. So yeah, I'm still working on everything. Um, two more things I wanted to show. First off, yeah, this. Um, sorry this is so disorganized, it's actually pretty bad. But still working on Imperial Star Destroyer. That is not going to come out before the trip. So sorry about that, guys. Don't know when it's coming, but soon, my friends, soon. And finally, up here, still working on um, this right here. But uh, Shelf of Interesting Things is making a little bit of a comeback. Uh, not super satisfied with this. Got to do a little bit more reorganization. But yeah, I also got this one recently, which is kind of awesome. It was a gift. And I didn't even know this existed. I think it's from Sugarfina. Yep, Sugarfina. Isn't that awesome? It's a little pop-up. And inside there's actually some rare chocolates and stuff like that. So that was dope as heck. And uh, not too much else new here though. This is stuff you guys have seen over the past few or whatever. Uh, but yeah, that's all I wanted to kind of cover with this little building a Lego room update. Again, very messy, but we're making progress. At least we know we're making progress. Oh, one more thing. Actually, with this Lord of the Rings thing, it reminded me. And even the title, Bag End. Uh, recently rewatched Lord of the Rings trilogy. It's something I do every three to four years. And I was like, yeah, I want to rebuild these sets. So I'm going to also try to rebuild some of the Lord of the Rings sets, which I do have Urukai Army somewhere around here. Or maybe it's in a box over there. Actually, yeah, it might be in this box down here that says Lord of the Rings. Elrond's in there. So yeah, hopefully I'll, I'll be able to even probably buy some of the ones I was missing. But either way, that's it for now. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.